Hey guys, Rana here and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit photo area of your WordPress site. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. If you are new to the WordPress and if you do not know how you can edit your photo area of your WordPress site and this will be a perfect video for you guys. So without wasting more time, let's get started and now let me show you how you can edit your photo area of your WordPress site. Alright guys, now we are inside the dashboard of this WordPress. So in this video, I'll show you a couple different ways to edit your photo area. I'll show you only those ways that works for almost every single theme design. Okay, so make sure if your theme does not have footer area, then how could you possibly edit that area if that area doesn't exist? So make sure your theme must have footer area. So let's look at my first example. As you can see that this is a WordPress blog and of course this is a demo website which is doesn't really matter in order to edit photo area. And if you scroll down at the very bottom, so as you can see that this particular theme has only this uh, photo area in order to edit it. We can edit only this designed and developed by text or we can edit this one, these social icons, okay? In order to edit this photo area, you can click on customize of course so guys this specific theme does not have footer widgets as you can see that so in order to edit this footer area we have to go to footer settings and now you can see that we have three options we have general subscription form and social icons general which is this text and subscription form which is right here and social links means these social icons let's look at the general or uh, here you can see that we have preloaded uh, text over here which kind of code right in order to edit this you just have to change your text from here you can type powered by this blog you can change the blog URL from here okay you can change the blog title like that and of course you can add more social links once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on publish. So guys, if your WordPress theme has similar uh, foot area, then you can add it your foot area just like this one. And if your theme does not have similar settings, then let's look at my another example. So guys, this is a another website that we have created on our channel, how to create a food ordering website. If you haven't checked that video, you can check out that video and make your own food ordering website for your restaurant. Anyways, in order to edit this website foot area, scroll down at the very bottom. And if you notice that this website homepage built with Elementor, if you want to edit this footer area, you just have to hover your mouse over edit with Elementor and then click on footer. It will open the Elementor page builder and we have this footer area. So from here, we can edit this footer area by simple drag and drop feature. Okay. If you want to edit this copyright area, you just click on that area. Here you can change any text you want in order to edit this copyright area right or you can add anything like that you can add any text you can highlight the text or you can change this text you can type how to edit footer in wordpress and highlight that bold it make it italic and that's it and let's go to style and alignment would be center once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on update and if you want to know more about this element or page builder Check out the description box of this video and learn how you can build your website with Elementor, right? Anyways, now let's look at another example. So on this website, if I scroll down, you can see that I have three different area in this particular theme. In order to edit this type of footer, click on customize. Now you don't have to go to footer. You just have to go to widgets. Now you can see that we have three types of footer area if you can see that we have three types of footer area left middle and right if you want to edit any footer area you can go to that area like for example i opened left footer here i can add item into my footer area i can add archives if you want to delete any part of the footer area you can delete that as well let's go back you can add items to middle picked post 
you can see that but i don't like that i'm gonna delete that one same you can add item to the right footer once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish so guys these are the three main ways to edit footer area of your wordpress site now let's look at more advanced way to edit your footer area if i go back to this website in the general tab i have this type of text box with this type of text box i can use coding power on my footer area let me show you one example if i go to this website and if i copy this code right here and let's go back here and let's paste that code now i've just changed different function inside my footer area and you may not notice any difference between this and that text okay but there is a difference let me show you what that difference is here you can see that we have the author name you can change the author name from here you can type author name i'm gonna type mine here you can type your own email address right let me expand that area so here i'm gonna change the email title i'm gonna type over here send me your email here okay by doing so i've changed completely everything over here let me show you what is the difference and now i'm gonna click on publish and i'm gonna close this one and now scroll down so if someone click on this highlighted text what's going to happen it will open the email box so this way people can contact me using this function so guys by using these types of code you can add different types of functionality on your footer area without any plugin and if you are wondering where we can find that code well you can go to w3school.com and here you can find different types of code for your footer area and of course you can go to this website mdbootstrips.com here you can find different types of uh, footer design with codes and you can simply use those codes and you can add different types of footer design on your footer area without any plugin right which is pretty cool i'll provide you a link of these website in the description box of this video so that you can open up these website by going to that link so now let's say if your website does not have this type of text box in footer area then how could you possibly add these types of code in your footer area in order to add more functions on your footer area well it is pretty simple let's go to this website and let's click on left footer and let's click on add widget now you can see that there is no that type of text box available by default but we can add that, that type of text box by simply searching for text and click on that and let's click on text here we can paste that exact code let's copy that code copy and paste that code and voila we are good to go so guys by simply adding that code we just add another function on our website once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish all right guys that's the pretty much it guys i hope you learned something from today's video if you really did don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one so that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time